Hi, my name is Shen. I'm 17 years old. I'm a homeschooler. That means I study at home. And I have started this project called the 233 Interview of COVID. So my aim is to record the world under COVID and the stories from all 233 countries and regions around the world. Okay, um, my name is Mayowa. Yeah. Or you can call me Mayo. Um... I'm in my second year in the university now. Mm -hmm. I'm studying mechanical engineering. And um, I'm a Nigerian. Mm -hmm. Cool. So, all right, let's start with the first question. So, how is how is Nigeria now? Is there any COVID situation that happening at the moment? Uh, not really. It has been reduced now um, because we had uh, the third wave of COVID mm. recently, so um, there have been some little restrictions in some areas, like um, we've been wearing those masks to school and mm. doing some other things like that. Right. So that's the basic news we have currently now. Yeah, so the schools were, uh, were open like during the COVID time in Nigeria, right? Uh, no. Then during the first wave, schools were shut down. Oh. Then the second wave, um, the school um, decided to mm. start some online classes. Mm. Then, uh, so at the end of the second wave, we had to um, open back the schools and mm. students were going back to schools. Yes. So now, in the, so we are now in the third wave now, so schools are still open now. Oh, right. So the schools, so now the school are open. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Sure. Like, how is everything? Did, did the lockdown happen in Nigeria as well? Yeah, there was lockdown. We had a um, curfews mm. for like, like about six to seven hours. You have to stay indoors. Things like that. Oh right. So, it was, it was, so how yeah. how was it like like did the stores and the restaurants closed during the lockdown? How long is the lockdown? Yeah, the lockdown lasted um, eight to nine months. Wow. For, um, for permanent lockdowns so was mm. about eight to nine months. Mm. Then, um, restaurant were shut. But now uh, we only have few that were open. Just few. Oh. Most the uh, rest were shut down. Yeah. Wow. Uh, so, like, where do you supposed to get like, uh, like you know, vegetables and food during the lockdowns? Yeah, that's what I said. Oh. I said um, some were open, or oh, most shopper. were closed. Oh, all right. Oh, uh, so the shop were open yeah. during the lockdown, but the restaurants, most of the restaurants were closed. Right. Oh, all right. Yeah. So everything is, seems normal. So did that affect your life during the COVID? Did the COVID affect yeah, your life? Yeah, really. Like in what in yeah, what ways? Really, really <laughs> uh, school wise, when we talk about our school, uh, we went to go to school again. We were at home, uh, nowhere to go. We we're just at home doing nothing, just online mm. every time. So. It really affected our social life. There was mm. no social um, gatherings again. We, we were able to go out. Mm. So there was a lot of restrictions. So that's it. The lockdown in Nigeria actually takes eight to nine months. So did the government yeah. or your school offer you any subsidies? Any like, you know, like food and support that given from the government? Uh... Only in some countries, some states rather, mm. um, the uh, foods were offered. Only in some, let's say, um, less privileged states, or other states were not offered something like that. Only less privileged states, like states with, that don't have enough facilities and mm. things like that. So they were offered and food, shelter, and um, sometimes they give them stipends and 
things like that. Oh, so it's different from each state and each village. Oh yeah. yeah so like, how how do they offer like subs like like food and the support? Do they come to your house and give to you, or you can you can take it somewhere like, uh, in the like you, I don't know, like community or something. Uh, okay. Yeah, it's divided into each community, so mm. they bring um all the food stuff mm. to a certain community. See, mm. then villagers or citizens from that community, they go to the place and each names are registered as they take their oh. um wherever they are going. To mm. Uh, what can you get? Yeah. Like for exactly like I don't know, like maybe some like uh no cup noodles or something like that. I'm not sure. I'm just guessing. Uh, guessing. Sorry. <laughs> Uh, basically, our food right over here, we give them noodles, mm. we give them uh, uh, rice, mm. uh, we give them um, vegetable oil mm. and stuff like that. So, is it enough to provide people's life during the COVID? Yeah, uh, it was, um, I think it was weekly or mm. I think monthly that they do it so it's the kind of thing that they do constantly like uh is there any like good thing that happened in co during the COVID time in nigeria for you yes i said um we had to um, learn more recreational activities mm. like we had to do our school stuff online mm. we were able to have time to um, go online watch tutorials, watch videos, and do stuff like that. Mm. As for me now, I'm a mechanical engineer, so I got mm. to learn some things about my course of study. Oh. I got time. Yeah, I, I have a lot of time doing that. Mm. So, like, I haven't heard your answer yet. So, like, do you prefer, like, online study or in-school study? Yeah, I prefer in-school study because... I prefer me being the lecturer mm. one on one to uh, be able to solve my friends are there mm. and do those things. Yeah. Okay. So like is there anything that you're looking forward the most after the COVID ended? Um the but the number one thing I was looking forward to was to go back to school. That was the first thing I was looking forward to because I really missed school. I miss my friend, mm. hostel life, and those things. Because that's the major thing I really miss. 